Tom here from Performance Engine Building 201. Um, today I'm going to show you guys kind of a cool tool that uh, I put together for Mark over Vortec Pro. Over the years, when Mark has an idea for something for a tool wise, custom tool to make job easier, do something right, I uh, usually come up and fabricate for him. And um, what we have here today is we're going to make an engine brush, oil galley brush. Um, you can see here we use a stainless steel real brittle brush that uh, you take this on this quarter inch rod and hook it to a drill and we can go right down the oil galleys with these brushes and if there's any caked on or baked in grease oil or if the block is a, a core that got rusty this will get the rust out of the oil galleys clean them up real good um, really important to get that oil galley clean as possible because uh, obviously if it's in the oil galley it's already past the oil filter so it's really important step to, to use these on a, especially on a core so um, we're going to take you through the steps of how we uh, build one of these and um, what you need to, to get that task done. Uh, we're going to use a lathe to, to poke the hole in the end of the quarter inch stainless rod but um, you could you could do it with a hand drill as well um, but uh, we'll show you kind of some of the other stuff that's involved in this. What we do is, is we buy these brushes they all come in a kit, assorted sizes. Um, it's a part number 08040. Uh, they come from MSC Industrial Supply. Uh, they come in the kit comes with brushes, I think, all the way from like an eighth or a sixteenth of an inch up to three quarter. And the stainless steel rod, um, I just bought off the internet, got six feet of it. Uh, it's nothing really special, just quarter inch diameter and you could use a regular steel rod but uh, we just figured to get stainless and that way it will never rust up on us and these brushes are also completely made of stainless steel uh, even the stem on it so it's real important when you're going to use these brushes we're going to solder them in the end of these rods that way when the brush gets used up and it's no good anymore we can just unsolder it and stick a new one in that way the handle part uh, is still good and to do that it's real important that you get the right kind of solder because it will fight you if you don't have the right kind of solder and what we got here is I ordered this off Amazon um, the flux that you use is a liquid flux stay clean um, by Harris and this is a silver solder this kits like 12 bucks off Amazon so that's uh, real important that you get the right kind of solder or you'll have a heck of a time making it work. So um, other than that, we've got an indicator here. Um, we're going to measure out what uh, the diameter is of the stem of this stainless brush. And you see there it's 164 and a half thousandths. Um, and then we just get a drill bit that's around that size. I think this is a number 16 drill bit for this particular brush. The other, you know, all the brushes have different size stems, so you'll have to uh, measure accordingly to each one. There's 174 thousandths. That's a good, you know, 10 thousandths fit there will be fine. And then um, I got a center drill bit that we're going to use to start the hole. And I'm just going to take the brush and clip a couple inches off of it so it's a little more rigid and uh, doesn't cause any, any problems. Um, with it bending or something when we're using it. So cut this off and, and go from there. We're going to head over to the lathe next and uh, show you how we make it. Okay guys, we're over here on the lathe now. I cut the piece of stainless steel rod. It came six foot long and I just cut it into 24 inch lengths so we've got three of them that we can make um, I already went ahead and faced off the other end real quick to go clean it up where it's going to go into the drill when we use it I'm going to go ahead and face this end off 
get it cleaned up and then take the and go ahead and start with the center drill bit and uh, get the hole poked in it. Chuck up the center drill here. Run it all up here. See what we're doing. Now we're going to set up with our actual drill bit. We're going to drill this hole about a half an inch deep. Works pretty good to do it that way. Okay, we got the actual size drill bit that we're going to use. Like I say, we're going to drill it in about half an inch. We're going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, you can see we got our hole in there to the final diameter that it needs to be and now we're going to take it back over to the welding table and set it up to get the solder, the flux and the solder on there and get the brush soldered into the end of it. Okay guys, we're back over here on the welding table. Um, what we got going on, I, I went ahead and clamped a set of vice grips around the stem of this rod here and I'm gonna, we want to use gravity as our friend when we're soldering this. It makes it a lot easier than trying to do it any other way, just to have it straight up and down. And what I got here, I got a cap full of the, the flux, that, the liquid flux, and a brush to brush the flux on. You need to be careful, this stuff is corrosive, and you want to do it in a well ventilated area. Um, and just get a little bit on the brush here. We're going to go ahead and brush them on this thing, get it down in the hole here the best we can. Okay, and you're also going to want to put some of this flux on the end of the, the stem of the brush. Okay, so now that we're done with that, 
we're going to go ahead and put some solder down in the tube, just a little piece. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to wrap a little piece of solder around the end of this so it'll hold it and then that way when we heat it up it'll just melt right in make a good joint for us I wrapped it around there I'm just going to cut it off with a pair of dikes that's going to end up going in there like that um, when we heat it up and I'm going to go ahead and put on some uh, welding gloves and I'll be right back with the torch Okay guys, I'm back here. I'm going to go ahead and start heating this thing up. I'm using a map gas torch. Uh, you could easily use a propane torch or a little butane torch would work good as well. Just some kind of heat source to get this thing hot enough to melt the solder. See it's heating it up pretty good in there, heating the flux up. covering it real well. I think that'll do it right there. Now you're just going to let the solder cool down. And uh, you want to make sure you kind of hold the brush straight as it's cooling. And once it's cooled down, we'll come back to it. All right, guys. Here's the finished product, as you can see. It's not focusing real well on the camera, but we got it soldered in there real good uh, and I just cleaned it up with a hand a stainless steel hand brush um, this oil galley brush like you say you'll hook this other end down here to a to a hand drill air drill whatever you want to use and um, run this down in the oil galleys on the block with the with the drill and it gets them very clean gets all debris and, and stuff that's stuck in there that you know normal block cleaning through a jet or at the car wash or however you do it and you're doing it at home this here will make sure you get everything um, if something gets left behind that can be a big problem for you and uh, when we go into the block prep portion of our 620 horse 454 build uh, we'll show you how we use one of these things with the drill um, that way you guys will know exactly what we're talking about but uh, this is a very handy tool to have and it's, it's something to have to make sure you're doing the job right and getting everything the way it needs to be so you have a long lasting engine with no problems. Thanks for watching guys and uh, stay tuned for more videos.